I'm Jonathan Welsh from the Kwamashu Materials Beneficiation Centre. It's a project of green corridors and what we do here in Kwamashu is we take what is not recyclable and we develop ways to use it making products with it. We have a number of partners, we work with waste management companies, the different departments within the municipality. Uh, we have a number of industry partners, we utilize a number of products from the byproduct of a recycling process. So as far as possible we try to reduce the footprint on, on, on the planet and divert waste from landfill. We satisfy a number of sustainable development goals. We essentially probably meet them most squarely by the fact that we take what would be going to landfill and filling up land, landfill and we find ways to beneficiate it and divert it from landfill. The technologies we develop here are what we call green concrete and bokashi compost. What we work with is four materials mainly. It's illegally dumped building rubble. So what we do is we crush that and we use it in green concrete. We also take street sweepings. We sieve that so we extract the recyclables and the organics. The organics we make into compost and the sand we put into concrete as well. We take non-recyclable plastics and we include that into the concrete. We also take fabrics, shoe rubber, all of those non-recyclable materials, we put that all into green concrete. What we are doing here is to produce uh, biocompost, which is called Bokashi compost. It's a fermented method of composting um, e compost uh, So we're looking into various waste streams. This is a beneficiation site, so each and every sort of waste stream, be it organic, solid, we look into ways of beneficiating it. I oversee the Green Spaces project, which has an alien invasive plant clearing and control program. So most of the alien invasive plants we found around the Umtlangani area is Spanish weed. So to eliminate the Spanish reed and stop it before it clogs your drain water systems, drainage, we ensure that we take it out of the environment. So we are complying with um, the national DEF um, compliance standards. So that's the process we engaged in and we're looking into working with your hotel groups. We're currently establishing working relations with the Umtlanga Sands who are looking to provide us with their wet food waste, which is something we also incorporate in our compost. Uh, we also include um, spent grain from local breweries and plant material that we get from our local parks departments that we work with. One of our nicest stories is that one of our staff members has a child at one of the local schools and we raised funds through one of the big athletic brands uh, to install 200 pavers which created nice new walkways in that school so the kids now no longer get muddy feet when they're crossing from one classroom to the next. So that's a nice closed loop story of waste from this area being used in this area and beneficiating the community in this area. Um, so far we've got 12 people employed uh, but the model that we're developing is that it's a module that we can replicate and post position anywhere. So that module we hope to replicate 50, 100 times around Etiquini and hundreds of times around the country. Yeah.